when to report an EPLI claim. First, let's look at EPLI reporting requirements. EPLI policies are written on a claims made basis in contrast to an occurrence basis, as are some other insurance policies. So for example, commercial general liability insurance policies are written on an occurrence base. Under a CGL, so the commercial general liability policy, an event that gives rise to a claim, such as property damage, must occur within the policy period in order to be considered for coverage under that policy. So even if you don't discover and report the damage until later on, it may still be covered under the original policy because that is when the damage happened. In contrast, with a claims made policy, coverage is determined by when the claim is first made against the insured for a past event. The claim against the insured, for example, the written demand, must occur during the policy period in order for it to be considered for coverage under that policy, regardless of when the wrongful act occurred. The wrongful act may have happened during the policy period or possibly long before that policy was incepted. Some claims made policies include what's termed a continuity or retroactive date. Claims arising from a wrongful act that occurred prior to this date will not be covered by the policy. So commonly, EPLI policies call for a claim to be reported as soon as practicable, or for example, as soon as practicable, but not more than 60 days after the end of the policy period. So while less common, some EPLI policies are written on a claims made and reported basis, which requires both the claim and the reporting to occur during the policy period representing a tighter time frame for the insured, especially if a written demand is received shortly before the policy expiry date. Insurance buyers must familiarize themselves with the policy-specific requirements to ensure that no claim is rejected simply because of late reporting by the insured potentially a very costly error. Claims made policies also provide the option of purchasing an additional discovery period. This is an extension to the reporting period upon the policy expiration or cancellation.